Okay, we're going to use part one of the fundamental theorem of calculus to solve this problem. We're given a function, and that function is an integral from negative 1 to x of t to the 7th dt. Now we're going to evaluate this, and it's going to be a really fast problem, so I'm going to give you just a few seconds of background here. This right here is the fundamental theorem of calculus part one. The basic idea is that if you have a function, and you integrate that function, and then you take a derivative of that function, you just get the function back. That's not too surprising, because we actually called integrals antiderivatives when we first started doing them. Basically, we're doing the opposite of a derivative, and then we're taking a derivative, and we get back what we started with. Another way to think about this is to say, okay, we know that the integral from a to x of a function represents the area beneath the function between the values a and x along the x-axis. Of course, we've made x a variable in this case, so we can move this x back and forth, and that would change the area based on what our x value is. So we can call this area a function of x. I'm going to give myself a little bit of space to write here. And if we want to know how fast the area changes as we move this x back and forth, the rate of change of this area is just a derivative. So we could denote that with a prime here and a d dx here. Well, how fast will the area change here if we move x? Well, the rate of change of the area is going to be based on how tall the function is right here at x. So that is just f of x. OK, I hope that helps you a little bit, but I want to focus on the problem here. If f of x is the integral from negative 1 to x of t to the 7th, what is f prime of x? Well, f prime just means the derivative of the given function. And that given function happens to be an integral. So we're just taking the derivative of an integral. This negative 1, it doesn't matter what number that is right here. It can be anything. But what we do is we just take that x, and we plug it into the function, and we just get x to the 7th. That is it. Now, if we want to find the first derivative of this function evaluated at 3, all we have to do is plug in x equals 3 here, and we get 3 to the 7th, whatever that number is. And OK, that's the quickest explanation I think I can give for the fundamental theorem of calculus. This is also the simplest type of problem that you can have for the fundamental theorem of calculus, where your integral goes from a constant to x, and you take a derivative of that, you just plug the x into this function here. OK, that's all I got for this video.